we just need to do this and then everything's gonna be cool. Uh, yeah, music is your life. You want to uh, uh, yeah pra practice every night if it if it's possible. But when when you were young, was it always like that, or was it at a certain age that you started thinking about I want a career in music? Uh, when I was seven, yeah. that's pretty good, right? Yeah, <laughs> no time to really think about anything else. I probably wanted to be a fireman before that, and then <laughs> went straight to being a wanted to be a rock star. There was, was a brief star? time when I was nine where I thought I might want to be a football player. But then, back when I was 10, I was back to being a rock star. Which rock star did you want to be? I wanted to be all of them. <laughs> um, probably David Lee Roth. I don't know. That was like, he was like the big one I thought was really cool when I was a kid. Um, yeah, that was probably the one I thought was coolest. And then probably in high school, I wanted to be Morrissey. And then, then when I got out of high school, then I wanted to be me. Okay. Yeah. Why? What? What did attract you in, into music when you were seven years old? Because I don't fucking know. Yeah. I don't. You know. Um, you know. Maybe it was. You know. It was, I don't know. I just thought it was so cool. Like you know, just you know, I used to spell out magnetic letters on the refrigerator, 96 FM, and I remember we were moving from Fresno to Sacramento. And I was like, Will I be able to hear 96 FM in in in, in Sacramento? And I was like, Well, there'll probably be another radio station like it. And she was right. It was mm -hmm. weird. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it was just like there. Was, I just can never remember anything giving me as much pleasure. Like I can still remember like jumping off the diving board, like at my friend Billy Seidler's house, and, and the radios like blaring that it's only rock and roll, and we were like dancing off the diving board to it, and it just sounded so cool. Like you know, it just and that record still sounds so good to me. Like it's like one of those records. Like when it ends, you want to just put the needle back and play it again. You know, so I, I don't know. Nothing gives me that kind of pleasure. You know, and. I, I don't know why it started giving me that kind of pleasure at that age. It just yeah. always, you know, did. Was it at that age that you all also started uh, playing an instrument, or did it come later? I started playing piano around when I was about nine or ten. I started playing guitar when I was about twelve. And then playing your favorite rock tunes, or yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And before that, I was, I, you know, I started air guitaring. I was like in air guitar bands from like, when I was like, uh, well, nine to ten. So up in, I had an air guitar band until I got my real band at 12, you know. Do, do you remember the name? Well, what was the name of the band? Do you um, the air guitar group was called Loud Crowd or The Flash. Flash was kind of weak. That was my friend Brian's idea for the name. But Loud Crowd, it's kind of like Quiet Riot. And that was like, I loved them at the time. So it was like Quiet Riot, Loud Crowd. Um, yeah. And then the first band was called something like XYZ Affair. Do you still have recordings from the time? Yeah, there is there is a tape yeah. out there. I actually thought that would be kind of an interesting compilation. I wanted someone to make like of artists now of their song bands as they were uh, uh, kids, you know, because mm -hmm. some of the songs are pretty funny. You know, okay. you wouldn't want a, a record of it, but a bunch of different people's funny songs from their kid it could be a good compilation. I think. You know? Yeah, I guess so. Are there some ideas that you? that came up into your mind back then that maybe found its way <laughs> to <laughs> the music you make now or I have no I haven't uh, I haven't uh, I haven't mind that sometimes you do kind of like go back in there for old ideas but no there's nothing nothing that made it um, I wrote some song when I was like 13 that was about like a kid killing another kid it was like you know but he's like I, th I guess it was probably a bit like uh, the Bohemian Rhapsody or something Sands the big end part, but it's all supposed to be, you know, like someone confessing or something. A bit pretentious, but you know, at the time, you know, you, it was into like Tears for Fears or something, so mm -hmm. everything had to be really heavy or something. But no, I haven't minded any of those songs for a while. If you look back to that period now, do you, do, do you still, still feel the same uh, joy when making music as when you were a kid? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's a different type of thing, but it's like, yeah. What do you think is the biggest difference? Maybe a little bit a strange question, but maybe for you, uh, do you have a what's what's the biggest difference between making music then and now, except that you were a kid back then? Um, I mean, the biggest difference I, I, that it sucked then. It wasn't very good. Um, but it was still, you know, you always feel like you're the same exact person, you know, like you feel like when you're when you're like 10 and you 
got it like you, you think you have it all figured out you know like you think that like we just need to do this and then everything's gonna be cool and you're like 37 you're like we just need to do this and everything's gonna be cool like you know it's just it's the same exact perspective um but i mean i guess when i was 12 i wasn't trying to innovate anything you know i wasn't trying to experiment that's for sure i was just trying to rock you know <laughs> so i mean and now it's like the rocking is a given like of course it's gonna rock you know it's, it's never given any thought you know but to experiment is given more thought you know okay because i know that some 12 year olds were experimenting i'm sure there's some kids you know like you know, some electronic artists are like, I used to take apart the TV, you know, like, you know, that that wasn't what I was going for when I was that age, you know. Well, thank you very much for your cool. time.